Welcome back, everybody, to RimWorld. So, first things first, uh, I am, I am, I am not well. Uh, I'm, I'm unwell and I'm very tired, so I apologize up front if there are any mistakes and I ask for your many forgiveness and leniency in today's episode, but the show must go on. So, here we are, back with some tasty RimWorld. I've sent Don home for a little while, because there honestly isn't much for him to do up in space right now. Um, I, I decided to change the kind of design of the base, because many of you pointed out in yesterday's episode, there wasn't really... Uh, if, if I kept building the way I was, there wouldn't have been any room to actually build the spaceship. So we're going to leave this area still open to build a spaceship. We're only going to build something small. Um, well, to be fair, we have plenty of room. Um, but we're only going to build something small to start off with, and probably expand it when we actually get up into space. The goal, hopefully, not not this episode, but hopefully by next episode, will have started making progress on moving everybody up to the moon as a permanent settlement. Um, basically getting them up here. I mean, there's obviously plenty of resources. It's equally as safe as the planet. Arguably safer. Um, you know, no chance of raiders, no chance of insects. No, we've got the same threats, but in a kind of new spacey environment. It suits the theme a lot more. Um, plus, with a whole new moon base, I can plan everything from the ground up rather than trying to adapt the base that we've got to be better. On the subject of that, I am currently adapting the base that we've got to be better. More specifically, until we've dealt with these mechanoids, there is not enough food to go around for everybody. Is he eating a plasteel bulb? That is a hell of a hungry rhino. Um, I've decided to put down some basic hydroponics there. Um, I say basic hydroponics. It's, it's your regular old hydroponics. So obviously a step above these things. Uh, what's the growth rate on those? 280% versus the 95% on the other ones. Mate. Uh, they make them so much better. Um, so, I, so I've got these down as well. We've got, still got the sprinklers in place and, and obviously the gas lamps there. But it's basically just going to guarantee we've got a baseline amount of food. A lot of commenters yesterday wanted to know why I didn't just make an EMP shell and blow this up. Um, simply put, it was kind of a learning experiment more than anything else. I, I, I needed to ensure that we were in a good place in terms of weapons and armor and whatnot. And... Simply blowing up with an EMP wouldn't have been a good test. You know, I want to see if these EVA suits are good for combat. I want to see if we're in kind of the right place with weaponry. If not, we want to build up to that place rather than just, again, blowing up with an EMP shell. I do have a contingency plan in the case of our people starving to death. We've got five EMP shells. We've got two mortars. We'll just have Hocus and um, Constant. Your other goods. Yeah. Um, just get those two basically on that and we'll we'll blow up the sun blocker at least. Um, in fact, we could just do that and then save the rest of it to fight manually. You know, test out this gear. Test out some other weapons as well. Because it's a nice little fallback. I might get them to do that first and that way they can start re plants. The bonus to this though is we could plant, say, gold, steel, whatever it is we need. Funnily enough, actually, with, with this more optimized setup, we've got everything but steel at this point. You can see there that we've quite clearly got no steel left. So um, the sooner the better, really, when we can start on that. We just had a harvest coming there, but obviously that's not going to go very far when we're immediately turning it into hydroponics base. Okay, so let's set force target. Uh, so you fire at... I mean, it doesn't really matter. Or any, anywhere that will hit the... It's very unlikely that she wouldn't hit the shield, let's be honest. Uh... You hit the shield, and then let's get you to hit this. Okay, fair enough. We'll take that out, and then, like I said, we'll save the rest for, for the weapon testing that I actually wanted to do with it. So let's quickly, quickly blitz through that. Uh, Red Thunderstorm, damn. We never got anything useful out of that, have we? There we are. Um, if we're fast, we could potentially get a couple of shots in there um, if Hocus is very quick on getting it reloaded. Was that a hit? The sun blocker seems to be in place. It might be more valuable then to just to go for the shield. Try and knock that out. Uh. <laughs> I actually can't set a force target. Oh, that's quite annoying. Hang on. Let's try it, try it now. Now that he's back on it. Yeah, that's a little bit better. It's because it wasn't a shell loaded. We'll try and hit that first then. We'll try and take out the shield. Focus all efforts on that. Then we don't have to worry about EMPs again. Oh, it's back up already. Fuck me, that's fast, isn't it? All right, fair enough then. Never mind, forget I said anything. Let's get you back onto EMP. Doesn't really give us time for much of a shot. What I did notice though is that the bars, if we get her back on there now, it, it still counts as the same fire, which is a bit strange. Um, we'll say hold fire on you for a second then. You fire first. There we are. And then you fire second. Very nice. And that is shield down. And then come on, you've got to hit with this. Come on. I don't want to keep making these bloody... Oh, you're fucking awful. What is your shooting stat? Oh, two. That explains it. Oh, for Christ's sake. Bear in mind that we, we've got the mortar accuracy mod that makes mortar accuracy a combination of shooting and research. Uh, or, or intellect, I should say. Um, 
that also makes this basically impossible again because his shooting stat, if you haven't noticed, is utter garbage. <laughs> Not a recharge cycle. If ever we're going to get it, now's the time. Please. Please kill it. Hocus. Please kill it. For the love of God. Hocus. <laughs> ah, 15 hours. Can she hit it once in 15 hours? For the love of God, please. Thank you. That was the last shell. Oh, God. What a trial that was. 10 EMP shells. Not a single one counted. And even then, I thought we were going to screw that up. Okay, right. So, uh, high explosive shells back to the top of the list. And we get Chuckles just quickly bashing those out. Let there be light as soon as possible so that our people stop going mad and so that we can actually start growing some crops. When we can, my next goal is to replace the steel with hydroponics um i know a lot of people are like what's the point in doing that it's so slow you could just mine everything up on the map um i've basically mined everything up on the map and there's still not enough steel this is the last of it so as you can imagine i'm quite eager to swap that over these we can uninstall as well right so all the hydroponics basins we build we can send up to space as well so it's we're not really missing out on too much come on die yes 39 percent, and then daylight returns and we still got this one little killing field to test out our armor and our weapons. So I think the plasma weapons are probably the, the right call. Mainly because they melt through armor as well. So if we're going in space, if we're fighting big, super powered, super well armored enemies, we're basically going to be unstoppable. Especially in close quarters. The problem with the plasma cannons especially is their range and their accuracy is... Well, the range is good, but the accuracy is crap over long ranges. So in close quarters, I think they could be quite deadly. I think it's time we started equipping people with some decent gear. Right, let's do it. So, Hocus, you are up first, my friend. Let's get you... Um, let's, let's go ahead and equip from Armor Rack. And that should give her back her clothes. Uh, or... Well, things have gone horribly wrong. <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, right, hang on. Equip from Armor Rack. There we are. Right, what have you got on now? Jumpsuit, bowler hat, cape, overalls, jump pack, boots. Boots are fine. Okay. Um, so, let me, let me go ahead and... I'm basically unload these racks because otherwise it's going to get very confusing. So storage, clear all, um, critical priority, but we'll say you're allowed heavy EVA gear, right? So you haul it onto there, they equip from it, it forbids it, they equip it back and it puts it back, I think. So apparel, we need just heavy, uh, so let's just go EVA suits, there we are. Um, set that to critical and then we copy the settings across. That way the robots will automatically load the armor onto the armor racks. And then we can just designate each person their armor rack transfer what they're wearing as long as they're wearing their actual clothes, which is true of everybody except for Dr. Don MD, uh, or ex Dr. Don, now turned construction superstar. Um, he's, he's lost his, uh, his Devil Strand jumpsuit somewhere? Maybe it deteriorated down. Oh, <gasps> actual raiders. I never thought I'd see the day. The Zaolo Union. Okay, okay. One thing I was thinking as well, actually, with regards to the kill box, we could just put doors here and then dig that out and force them to come through our kind of secondary kill box, so to speak. Um, again, not really a kill box. Uh, how are we doing with regards to the armor stands? Let's go ahead and assign these out to people. So we want uh, one for Ciala, one for uh, Emily or Hocus or Don, or basically the first person I see. We got Emily, Ciala. Um, we need one for... Hocus, where are you? There we go. Uh, ex Doctor Don MD license revoked. Uh, and then who's the final one for? Chuckles. Chuckles is our other best shot. There we are. So let's send these guys to equip from the armor rack. Everyone else, Roger Wilco, do you have a gun? You don't. Uh, Roger Wilco, get a gun. Uh, Dr. Zerato MD, also get a gun. You might not be the best shot, but so anything is better than nothing. Um, so go grab that for me. Milo, same story, really. Uh, so we give you another heavy. Uh, uh, this one. Roger Wilco. Hang on. Uh, drop that. And Milo, grab that. Okay. We're going to war. Um, everyone else then. So those guys are equipping from armor racks. Uh, you all... You all draft and get into a position where we don't have to worry about being shot by the mechanoids. Because those are still within range, don't forget. Just got to be very careful, especially these ones. Well... Actually, is it this one that... Yeah, that could be an issue if we were to stand there. So let's be very careful about how we approach this. We should be able to get armored up and into position before these guys attack. Oh, they're preparing for a while anyway. Bollocks. Might have, might have gone a little bit early on this one. Oh, look at them. Oh, look at our hit squad. Finally. 
Oh, that looks... That looks pretty impressive. We've, en we've ended up going full Mandalorian. Okay, Bear, what's wrong with you? Human fists. Who fights? What the hell is a myoelectric ele uh, exoskeleton? Whoa, I had no idea Bear even had that. Oh, that's quite good for Bear. Um, right, so Roger Wilco has a gun. Roger Wilco is capable of combat, as far as I'm concerned. Dos Zerato MD is sleeping when he should be ready for combat. Milo also has a gun. Right, gun on the front lines. You can fuck off. What? No. It's not that accurate. I refuse to believe that. <sighs> Fucking shot him in the heart. Behind an embrasure at maximum range instantly. Oh my god. Okay. Sure. Whatever. I guess we'll accept that as part of fucking doing business. You son of a bitch. I absolutely cannot believe that. Oh my god. Okay, fine. There's one person dead. Yep, I'm sure that was uh I'm sure that was preventable. I wasn't expecting it to be quite that fucking aggressive. Right, you come down here. You pull forwards. I'm trying to get these guys as close to the front lines as possible. Baron, these guys are our, our our kind of big warriors. So we want those guys on the front lines as much as possible. They're body blocking. Any incoming tribals. How are they getting this close? Good lord. I'm getting a little bit concerned. Oh, they're already... So one group is fleeing. That's fine. Oh, you know what? This isn't too bad. They're getting a lot closer than I would ever have expected. Though. Look at that. They are right up to the front line there. That's staggering. How? <laughs> okay. Our guys are doing fine, though. Yeah, we're good. Man, I can't believe that. These fucking mechanoids are so, so, so powerful. <sighs> okay, go on. Go home. Whatever. Bring out your dead. Uh, someone carry him back, for fuck's sake. Hocus, you worked with him. Let's get him buried. I'm just... That's, I just can't believe it. I've just lost for words. We've had a couple of days of peace. I've had them basically dedicate a lot of the growing efforts to purely just steel. Because, again, we're out of steel on the map right now. It's funny how quick that stuff goes, huh? Uh, I think it was the last series as well. We had a load of steel on the map, and it ended up disappearing in about... Oh, it was silver, wasn't it? That was it in that... In, in the other series we were doing on the Aeos planet. Anyway, this time around, we're growing a load of the steel shrooms. The steel shrooms, the more that we get, obviously, the more components we can produce. The more components we can produce, the more... Other hydroponics base. The idea is to swap all of this stuff out, make sure we've got a consistent flow of resources, and eventually reinstall it on the moon, basically. Um, for for pure convenience sake. So we're working on this area over here now. I wanted to take a brief second just to go trade with this exotic goods trader. Because I know it's not only we've have we got one of those, but we've also got a ship parts trader, which I don't think we've ever seen before. So we're gonna have a look, see what they have actually got for sale. Um Whoa. Bio ships. So this is all added by the Alpha ship mod, is it? Okay, there we are. Trade ship tanks. Bio ship bottom. Bio ship side left. Imperial escort ship. Whoa. So these are all bits that we can we can staple onto our spaceship, huh? The bio ship sounds awesome. Um, quite resilient to damage. Okay. Um, intrasystem travel. Okay. Pirate ship. Designed for prolonged combat. Oh, not, sorry, designed for prolonged combat, but for hit-and-run assaults. We've got trade ships there. Um, I think these are all decorative, aren't they, more than anything else? Um, the bio ship sounds really cool, to be honest with you, but... If we buy side left, can we mirror it, or is it... Or is it gonna be, like, like, uh, an odd angle? Um, rotated rather than flipped. Uh, let's drop, let's buy the bottom, then. That sounds pretty alright, and we'll see what that looks like. Um, can we, do we just install that? Oh, wow. Oh, that's quite cool. I like that one. The other one as well, we've got a bulk goods trader, and this is quite big, because right now we have, uh, again, we're lacking steel entirely. We're waiting on this first batch of the new hydroponics shrooms to grow. So let's go ahead and just buy whatever steel they've got, and hopefully they've got plenty of it. I will buy their advanced components too, because we desperately need that. Uh, medicine, we'll take that. Uh, steel. Yeah, we'll take the lot. Oh, it's not good though, is it? Yikes, I was hoping for more than that. Okay. Um, silver plow flower petals. We have just an obnoxious amount. We'll do something with that, I'm sure. We could just sell it. Um, 
Is it one to one? How does it work? Because it's 64 makes 16. Wait. Oh, hang on. Um, if, if 64 steel makes one... 64 makes makes 16 steel. How does the, the silver flowers work? Because if it's the same ratio, it would be better to, to sell them, right? Four silver from 16 petals. Am, am I going mad here? Four silver from 16 petals. Oh, we're selling them for less than a silver each, aren't we? Because you don't have really have pennies in room, or do you? Got it, got it. I thought for a second then that they had, they had way overpriced the petal. Like, converting it from petals into silver was actively losing us money then for a second. Okay, fair enough. Um, so what was it giving me? The, the silver silver bulbs. Let me just double check that. Right, okay. So it's actually a fifth of the value you would get if you swapped it over. Fair enough. Um, well, let's go ahead and sell off the... So buy the steel again. We got plenty of yayo again. Very nice. Okay, that's, that's coming clutch. We'll buy some meals because we... I'm running quite low on that. Again, I swapped out a lot of our our actual food production for for resources, just pure resources this time. Don't run any chem fuel, don't run any neutramine. I'm alright with that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Done. Easy. There we go. And that's really gonna speed this up. We've got a boatload of research queued up as well there. So just generally things that will be useful at some point or are useful already. So we've got Tomorrow Generates, Pulse Charge Munitions, uh, Rifles, Panoxylene. I don't think we really need that on the moon too much. Um, the Metafuel. So the Metafuel is for using the Medicine Bay. Those are like kind of regenerators that you don't need a doctor to function. Just kind of a medical bay that you walk into and it, it cures your ailments. So that'd be quite useful to have just in case... I don't know. Say, for example, Dr. Zorato MD was to move within the minimum range of a turret that would kill him through an embrasure instantly in the head. Uh, not that I'm bitter or salty or anything like that. Four days later, we've had another bloody raid. This time it's Drop Pod Bandits. Uh, so one thing I did is I did the thing I talked about. I, it's pretty hideous, though, I will admit. Um, cut a hole through the kill box over there to force the bandits, enemies, whatever, through past Mechanoid Gorge. Uh, it should also basically stop our people getting rushed down so quickly. But again, it's fucking hideous. Like, really just not the nicest thing I've ever done. Uh, how are we looking for armor sets? Oh, man. We almost got something for everybody now. I'm just gonna go down the list and, and basically all the unassigned armor axe just give to everyone. Okay. Equip from armor axe? That should work. That's not gonna be everybody. Okay, how are we looking? There we go, there we are, there we are. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's a start. I could get them to equip... Uh, the helmets. However, it will cause untold fuckery with what we've got going on here. Where is Cat? And why have you not equipped your gear yet? Oh, uh, equip from our right. Go, go, go. Okay. Um, everybody bar Cat. Let's get you to... Let's get you to position. Oh, God, this is hideous. Um, right. Watch out for that fucking turret again. I'm not losing anyone else to something trivial like that. Um, right. Let's just wait for Cat to finish armoring up. What have you ready, Cat? And done. Okay, right. Let's get everybody else over there as well. What a mess. <laughs> this kill box is horrible, isn't it? What are they doing? They're waiting for a while before they attack. Interesting. Okay, well, it's probably a good idea to get everybody into position. And then... What? Oh, my God. As if they've shot through the rocks. For fuck's sake. What's the minimum range on that? Barry, 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 Barry. What's the range on this one? Oh, fuck off. Right, you guys are going to have to come over here, then. Careful, careful, careful. Right, Siala, move up. Horrible. What a, what a horrible situation. Right, get your guns out then, people. Let's see what we can do. On the plus side, they might end up rushing through here and going into the mechanoid lair and getting themselves killed. Or, alternatively, killing the mechanoids. Well, wow, that was a hell of a shot. Good work. Right, let's see how it goes then. I feel like these guys are going to be very limited in what they can actually hit. So let's move you over. Let's bring you down here. Um, if you get your gun out, that would be ideal. Can't hit anything. Too far? Uh, Too far. Oh, and people are violent. All oh, right, fair enough. Okay. Well, kill what you can. The mechanoids will do the rest. Oh, they're using the embrasures against us. Oh, yeah, they would do that, wouldn't they? What a fucking horrible idea that was in hindsight. Oh, balls. Well, I may have caused us a lot of problems here. <laughs> oh, no, what are you thinking? Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously building this out of embrasures is a bad idea. It's only a problem while the mechanoids are here, so don't worry about it too much. Um, what we might want to do then is bring some of you over here. Yeah, let's bring you guys over here. 
Oh, fuck. We're the ones on the wrong side of the embrasure now. How has this gone so wrong? How am I this bad at RimWorld still? Honestly, it just... It, it's mind-boggling. Right, pull back, pull back, pull back. We might have to go back to our second... Second fallback zone now. Let's see how it goes. We might be all right. Uh, it's not going too badly. Let's pull you guys back. We want the armored guys up front. All right, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Run, 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 run. How many? There can't be many of them left, surely. We've killed bloody loads of them. And again, they're fighting the mechanoids, so we kind of kind of got ourselves in, a, in an okay situation. Watch out for that grenade. Ooh, oh, it's a smoke grenade. It's fine. It's covering our retreat. Right, let them fight the mechanoids. And we'll stand up here. And as they come around the corner, we will blow them away. Oh, God, Skylar. Oh, God, Skylar, 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 Skylar. Oh, run. Oh, for God's sake, run. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, this has gone horribly. I don't know quite how this has gone so horribly, but it has gone horribly. Right, ki kill these people as they come through. You people are pathetic shots. Oh, my God. You've done more damage to our own stuff than you have to our enemies. What's that? Is that an incendiary grenade? Don't do that. Oh, it's a smoke grenade. That's fine. Okay, okay. They're fleeing. Some of them are fleeing. Anyway, one group. Hauling bot, you are in the wrong neighborhood, my friend. That's it. Use the very expensive satellite dishes cover. Phenomenal. Um, let's call these robots back. <laughs> ah, get out of there. Okay. Let's come stand like... Come stand like here. Come stand like there. Great shot. Sleepy, you're next on my kill list. Fantastic work. Are they all fleeing now? They, they're getting into a... Oh my god. They can't get through the shield. Okay. Well, the mechanoids did us a, a, a big favor there. Everybody thank the mechanoids. Otherwise, we'd have been pretty screwed. Oh, never mind. The mechanoids have been defeated. Well, the bandits are fleeing. So let's just go and get our people patched up, I think. Uh, is anyone in kind of really big danger? Just Skylar. Oh, you know what? I didn't go so badly in hindsight. That could have gone a lot worse if we didn't have the mechanoids around. No permanent damage to Skylar either. Then just immediately unequipped. God, that's never going to get old. Right. Please rescue Skylar rather than going to sleep. Uh, where are you taking Sky... Oh, what's wrong with the hospital bed? What the hell? <laughs> okay, sure. Just get him patched up. That's all I care about. There we are. He should be fine. Just some minor damage there. Good 10 quality. No problem. No problem at all. The research has moved on to ship components now. Ship shields, torpedoes, whatever else. So that when we get to the moon, we can obviously hit the ground. And ideally, I'd like to get all the research that we want finished before we head up to the moon. Um, oh, God. we got loads to have. So we got this one. Automatic ejection. Critter sleep casket. It's not essential, but we might as well grab it, I guess. Um, I think that is genuinely more or less everything, though, isn't it? Okay. Repulsive technology is quite nice. Same with the Ultra Tech laser weapons, but we'll cross that hurdle when we get there. Um, I've queued up all the really end game cybernetics as well. We've also got like ship computer core and shit coming in too. That's just all those two have got to do. In fact, I might go as far to say uh, nothing but research for these two from now on. What I've also done to assist with the <laughs> god awful pathfinding is stripped out all the walls from this. There's no point. You know, the temperature's all consistent anyway throughout the base, so it doesn't really make much difference. Um, let's get that down. we got to make sure we cancel these gas pipes, though, otherwise it screams at me. Food issues are also well and truly dealt with. Brent, today, we've got through, like, another season or two. It's, it's been it's been quite a lot of me just kind of getting a lot of uh, the behind-the-scenes stuff done. But look at the armor. We're almost done with the armor sets, too. And then we can really focus. Like I said, when we get into the Save Our Ship stuff, I really want to just that to be the main focus. We don't want to be doing research and building weapons and gear and crap at that point, huh? Then we want to explore the stars and put all this effort to good use. So we've got, what, five more EVA suits to do? Uh, six. Oh, but hang on a minute. We've we've lost some people since then. Um, 11 plus another five, right? Yeah, okay, that's fine then. Um, so I've, I've queued up five so we can actually take apart one of these armor racks. So, a couple of episodes ago, just to see if anybody would notice, I flipped over from Perry Persistent to Phoebe. Uh, basically because of the lag issues, the pathfinding issues, the last thing we wanted was Perry constantly hitting the game with a load of new crap to deal with. So I flipped over, um, predominantly because the difficulty of Phoebe also matches the kind of level of the game right now where we're just kind of researching and building and not doing much besides leaving our base. So Phoebe suits out a bit more these big pressing issues that you've got to deal with. It kind of forces us to um, actually leave the base occasion rather than just sit in our resource paradise, which I will admit is fucking terribly slow. Now the first of Jugas, by the way, for those who keep in track. Um, we're kind of getting to the point now where we're producing more resources than we can smelt fast enough, so we're kind of hitting critical mass with this stuff. Anyway, um, here we are. 
to deal with more crap. Uh, how, how are we doing the armor sets? Two more. Bloody hell, this takes a long fucking time to craft. Let's go deal with some mechanoids then, shall we? Uh, we should have an armor right more or less for everybody now. Um, who wants this one? We'll give that one to Pork. And then we've got an armor rack here for Dr. Zerato MD. We've got one here for Amy C. Obviously, Milo doesn't really need one, seeing as Milo is incapable of violent. Um, how have I fucked this up so badly? Hang on. Hang on. Let's go ahead and equip from armor rack. Oh, we've got to make sure we don't do that with the people we've already got selected. Obviously. Um, equip from armor rack. Who have I accidentally given... Oh, so we're missing... Oh, we're just missing one for basically Skylar. Okay, fair enough. Um, in that case, let's send in everybody but Skylar and Milo. Because, um, again, these guys are pretty decently armored at this stage. Oh, wow. <laughs> got ourselves a squad of Mandalorians. Uh, that's quite cool, isn't it? Right, let's pull back all of the robots. And then let's go ahead and recall all. Uh, and let's get you guys ready for combat. I think that's fine. The only thing I'm concerned about with lining them up kind of like this is that we're potentially in a bad situation with lancers. Because obviously they're going to get the drop on us as it is like that. I think that's alright. That's not too terrible. Um, I've also been recording this episode now for four hours. Um, just to try and get a lot of the stuff done. Because again, this is our threat. So, right. Okay. Uh, hocus, hocus, hocus. Let's get you on the mortar. Uh, who else do we want? Constantine. This time they can actually see. It's not in darkness, so I trust him to do a bit of a better job this time than he did last time. Right. Can we hit it from here? I hang on. Did they, did they spawn him with a mortar shield? Otherwise, that's gonna, um, make drop beacon. You know what? I don't think they did. It looks as like if something failed to spawn in as well. You see that? I wonder if they were supposed to have a mortar, but it collapsed. Uh, like a shield, but it, it collapsed in. Well, anyway, let's wait the mechanoids up, and then they can rush us down. We can kill them from the safety of our kill box and come in and tidy the rest of this shit up in a second. There we are. That'll do it. Actually, that's not as bad as I thought it would be. To say this is quite a late-game threat, the fact that we've got a mortarable mechanoid in camera... Oh, God, they're already here. Bloody hell, that was fast. Uh, please kill that before it opens the door. Oh, for fuck's sake. How are you people this bad? Good Lord. Right, you deal with the scullywag. Uh, kill that, please. Oh, nice. Okay, another worry about it. Right, you go shut the door then. <laughs> Otherwise, this whole kill box kind of falls apart, I will admit. There you go. Do a bit of a run for me. There we are. And that's going to close any second now. Let's get you two off of the... Off of those for a second. Come and help out dealing with the mechanoids. And then we'll send them back later, because at that point, it doesn't really matter. Right. Oh! The armor's doing us a, 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 a real significant help. Why is it attacking the door rather than coming around this way? God knows. We've got to be careful of getting flanked by mechanoids now. That's the only real concern. Right, Hocus, whenever you're ready. Can we hit that one okay? Should be able to. Let's bring you over a little bit. Just get a bit of a bit of a variation on our lineup. We'll move you there slightly as well. There we are. That's a bit better. Right, okay. We've got any centipedes or anything like that coming in. Oh, you know what? That's actually it. Wow, this is much easier than I expected. Damn, for Phoebe, at this level of the game, I'm quite surprised. You generally expect something much harder than that thing. Right. I think we got one that managed to flank us, which will be dead in about two seconds flat. Oh, he's just... Okay, he's gone to get... Oh, he's gone to slaughter Sydney. Stop it. Stop this man. Arrest him. You will be burying nothing and nobody, my friend Barry McCockner. Thank you. Right. We've got one more Lance over there. Can anybody see it? Uh, what about... Oh, Emily can see it just. Let's bring him over here then. Um, I might just move in the squad. But I wanted to save defensive positions, to be completely honest with you. Oh, Bear can see it too? That's a bit strange. How the hell have grenade launchers got such a range to them? Well, done. Great work, people. Okay, um, this will just undraft temporarily, and then I'll get them to all unequip when they're all done being sad and stuff. There we go. Well done, team. Excellent work. Uh, this armor, it's game changer. Who'd have thought that wearing... Something more than a bowler hat when fighting enemies with long-range, highly piercing weapons might end up saving the lives of some of your colonists, huh? When Hocus is awake, we'll get Hocus... Serious pain from what? Oh, fibrous mechanites. I completely missed that. Well, it doesn't really matter too much. Manipulation, moving, blood pumping. That's exactly what we need right now. In fact, that's probably why we did so well against those mechanoids. Um, we'll put that manipulation to the test in a second whenever you bloody decide to grace us with your presence. Thank you. Right, let's get her on these turrets and let's basically... Just wipe this shit out. Let's just not let it stack up. Because if we get more mechanoid clusters coming up here without the luxury of being able to hit it from a distance, then I'd rather not have the remains of this one to also deal with. Are ready to hit anything? God, she's still quite a bad shot, isn't she? 
Oh, do, hang on, we must have artillery. Surely I've researched artillery by now. Yeah, we've researched a lot of stuff. There we go. Um, is artillery any more accurate, though? I'm not sure it would be. I don't see why it would be. Exotic goods trader. That's what we want to see. We've only got one more armor set to build now as well. I think I... Yeah, I think I said it's just one times. Okay. Uh, Amy C. Let's see what we can get from the sympathetic toad trader. What an incredible name. Um... Advanced components, regular components. Glitter War Medicine is quite nice. Uh, sell them some uh, tasty. To be fair, I haven't really got much of that left. I bought some Plasteel from a trader before, which is why we've got so much of it. Let's buy these. I don't know if we've got any of them. We can always sell them back. Um, oh, wow. Cyberblades Combat Mechanites Mark 3C. Melee. Wow. Okay. Speech Implant gives 20% social and trade. We should buy that first, implant it into it, then buy the rest of it, but... No, I've been playing this game for too long today, to be honest with you. Um, whoa. Oh, that's quite cool. Can I buy that? Therapeutic Grand Statue. What's the beauty value on that? 300. It's quite cool, just to, just to look at. Um, oh, Ultra Screen Television. We can't exactly craft those, can we? We'll sell them the elephant tusks. We've run out of gold. That's why I've got gold ferns being planted as well. We sell some Plastil in a weird turn of events. Um, 778. What the hell have I spent all my money on? Oh, the tech prints. Oh, I'll sell those then. That's all right. There'll always be more tech prints coming along eventually. Done. So the final deal was for... I mean, ultra green television, we quite literally cannot get in any situation. Oh, my God. They're large. Uh, oh, you fucker. Look at what you've done. Okay. <laughs> We're actually going to have to knock a wall through to install this bloody television. I don't know how therapeutic that is. A giant mechanoid? I feel like that's quite the opposite of... Oh, God. One meteorites. Okay. Hey, that's quite nice, though. Not a bad haul, all things considered. How are we doing for components? Uh, we're not. Oh, fantastic. Wait, hang on. Components, 67. We're good. And with this, we are 100% done, finished, complete. Everybody has a full set of armor now. What a fucking achievement. It took me a bloody long time, but that's quite nice. And they're all incredibly powerful armor sets too. No recon armor, no marine armor, better than cataphract armor, I think. Uh, especially when you consider the installation too. I think it's fair to say that. And we can into space with them, um, which is kind of the whole point of this bully series. So you know what? I think they are slightly better than cataphract armor in that regard. There we go. The research is almost finished too. So let's go ahead and get some uh, other stuff quickly queued up here. Again, stuff that might come in handy at some point. Oh, we can make ultra screen televisions. You bollock. Well, never mind. Um, get that. Human sleeves is for cloning. I don't know that we'll check out the cloning mod this series. I think everyone everyone sounds uh, has made it out to be quite impressive. Um, I thought I'd throw it in as just kind of an alternative, a high-tech alternative to the Immortals mod. Um, but everyone's saying it kind of deserves its own series, so we might end up doing that eventually. Um... What else would you research if you were that desperate at this point? Uh, to be honest, not a lot. Missile turrets, those sound like they could be quite good. Um, especially for space battles. Ca canning? <laughs> we could build repulsor shields, but I have no idea how the hell to preserve these fruits in this can. Uh, sure. So 11 more significant research. Hey, we'll try and get all the research done before we get into space. Research room looking like this. It's really not going to take them that long at all. Um... Yeah, I'll try and do everything if we can. Obviously, we can't do certain ones because we're missing the tech prints for it. Come on, doctor's on. We're ready. Come on, just finish it off for fuck's sake. There we go. 100% hydroponic. Okay, so we've got efficient resource production. We have almost all of the research done, by which I mean another 49. But to be fair, after the Ultra Tech laser weapons, a lot of it is like stews, which are 153 research. So it should take all of about two seconds. Um realistically we're in the final stretch now of regular brimwald crap and then we get to the moon base and we build our spaceship um we need to build a livable moon base first who i've obviously worked as a staging ground for the spaceship uh then we're good then we're ready to head off we can escape this horrible meteorite filled planet this horrible shuttle crash filled planet this horrible planet filled with freaking mechanoids and insects and we can leave let's ring up this ship part trader and see what they've got what was that explosion huge captured asteroid top mechanoid ship right wing uh i like the sound of both of those done oh can i afford it oh what hey i cannot afford this deal what's going on there wait the trader's not the trader doesn't want silver <laughs> they trade ship parts for ship parts i assume oh bizarre 
So now begins the long journey of ferrying all these resources up into space. Uh, here's what I'm thinking then. Let's get... Uh, what, what do we build the walls out of in space again? Components, plasteel, and steel. Um, I would know that if I so much as looked over here. So I'm going to steel. Um, we should be crafting more steel shrooms right now. And I don't believe we have anything to actually spend it on, do we? Steel tall shelves. Okay, besides that, though. Oh, no, no, that's it. It's just going into storage. Well, fantastic. Oh, let's drop that down to a slightly lower priority. All the resources our planetary base produces now, we send straight into space. We can make infinite fuel because we're growing uranium. We're growing steel. Sure, it's not. So actually, we're not growing uranium right now, but we've got plenty in the stockpile. Oh, my God. <laughs> ah, wow. We are at ultra tech, but we've got tech advancing mob. We're at ultra tech level of, of research, which obviously drops all of the cost down for these. And we've got the best lab possible in the game. And we started with the faster research speed on this scenario. Um... You know, because it's meant to be about flying around in space and blowing up spaceships. It's not about sitting around researching how to brew beer for 15 episodes. Oh, shit. There was another one's build, huh? Well, there we are. Now we're 100% done, huh? Brilliant. Okay. So, what I'll do then is I'll let them finish off the research. Between episodes, I will start funneling stuff into space. We can send our people in their spacesuits. We don't have to worry about building structures before we send them up. Now, we haven't got to worry about just sending one person with a spacesuit. We can send bloody everybody. Food is essential to start off with. When we've got food set up on the, on the planet, we'll focus on getting a lot of power. We'll maybe go for like three or four or five nuclear reactors. We'll work, put, focus on the higher tech... Um, hydroponics we want to be able to grow resources on the moon eventually we'll start moving this whole base up there but we want it, we need to get a good baseline on both of them before we continue on with that what tech prints did i buy um i remember now uh oh skin hardening right from that other trader well, let's go ahead and run that one through quickly before i forget and that as far as i'm concerned is a successful day of remod fantastic Tomorrow, then, is all about space. And then after that, it's going to be all about spaceships. We're, 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 we're kind of past your regular reward stuff now. And I feel like we've earned it as well, which is which is quite nice. It's been some, there's been some struggles. There's been some deaths. But we're finally almost ready to go into space and die up there as well. Thank you, in the meantime, to our executive producers, some of which have died today, including... Well, not these people specifically have died, but some of them have. L.E.B., the Durst of Times, Small Snake, Daedric Die Katana, Potarted, I Am Sagatair, Ben Henshaw, Solombreen, King Snitch Gaming, Salentily, and Paul, Demon Boy, Chris, and James Shea for today's executive producers, randomly chosen from my random list. And of course, I thank you everybody at the executive producer tier for going to the highest tier of support for the channel. A big thank you as well goes out to. Where are we starting today then? Somewhere down here, there is Magister Militant. Noobmeister, Gordy Number One, Rotten Flesh, Fernando Penner, Mohammed, Alvin Flang, Tabula Rasa, Warhawk, Ginta Blade, Cyber Monarchy, Astros Fan One Two Three Four Five, The Thick Mick, Ultra Spider Two Thousand, Snarlauger, Sweet C, Neil M, and everybody over at Coffee. You at home for watching. See you all tomorrow for the final saga of Rimworld Planet Side. And now we're purely Space Boys. <laughs>